I went to Sephora yesterday for one thing. I left with eight. To be fair, I didn't think I was actually going to leave with one thing because I, I went to browse. I wanted just to go and like see what was calling me. You know how you, when you go to Target and you're like, I don't know what I need here, but I'm open to anything. And then you like black out and spend $200. That's basically what happened here. With that being said, let me show you what I got and then we will try them out. Shout out to Libri Falls Filter. This is a... I don't really know what this is. I just know that everyone on TikTok says... It's amazing. NARS Soft Matte Complete Concealer. I heard that this really covers up dark circles. And recently, my concealers just have not been cutting it. And my friend Kat says this is amazing. And I trust her with my life. This is a Makeup by Mario Complexion Brush. I don't really have a lot of brushes, so I want to kind of start building up the collection. Last month, I bought this blush trio from Rare Beauty. And I loved one of the shades. So I got it in the full size. This is Bliss. Another thing TikTok convinced me to get, the Milk Makeup Bronzing Stick. They used to have this in like the big size, but I guess it was really hard to like target where you were putting it. So they just now sell the travel size one. I got a lip product. I guess this is new. It's a plumping lip serum. So she bought hers first and then I tried it out. And this is amazing. This is in Apricot Glow. Feels like a lip balm. You could feel the like plumping effect and it's such a pretty color. Last two things, Super Goop Sheer Screen. I love their glow screen, but it made me break out, so I stopped using it. And I heard this one is a lot lighter. Lastly, another thing my friend Kat told me that I needed in my life. I don't really even understand what this is that I bought, but apparently it's kind of like a bronzing glow thing and you add it to your moisturizer and it just makes your skin look amazing. So let's say you mix it in with a little bit of moisturizer and on like no makeup makeup days or even under your foundation, it just gives you a bronzing glow. And I'm ready for summer. I'm ready for it to be hot outside. I'm ready to be tan and bronze. So I'm already getting prepped. Enough chatting. Let's get to some makeup. I got the flawless filter in 4.5 because I knew the foundation I was going to mix it with would be lighter. So bear with me. <laughs> where even dry shampoo can't help. That's better. I just got this bag from Forward. I showed you my last vlog, which is my first YSL bag. It's actually a loaner bag, so I didn't actually purchase this myself. For the time being that I have it, I want to use it as much as I can. So I've basically been like building my outfits around this bag. You'll see. We have two options for shoes. I love these ones because the green obviously matches the sweatsuit, but these match the hat and the bag. The fact that the green matches this so perfectly seems like a crime to not wear those shoes with this. Why, why, am this, why is this like the hardest decision I made this year? 
if we're committing to the bag, then this is the outfit we're gonna go with. Now we're gonna go pick up Ethan, get some food. <laughs> In honor of Alfred's ninth birthday, they came out with a matcha with vanilla orange coconut foam on top. <laughs> not my usual order, definitely not my usual matcha order either. Mmm. Whoa. I also added a splash of oat milk in it because I didn't want it to just be like the matcha with the foam. I don't know. I I can never have enough oat milk. Yeah, I approve. And I'm usually not a coconut foam girl. Yeah, I know. That's why I was kind of nervous. Wow, I'm a fan of that. Look at Bro, they put so much ice. <laughs> Are you done with yours? Well, yeah, you, have to, you have to sip it like that. Like, like, like what do you mean? Like, like this? Like without a straw. Oh. Yeah. 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 That place is really good. Yeah? I've seen that a lot of people post that, yeah. Um, that looks good too, Mediterranean. Yeah, that looks good. walk into our first ghost kitchen like where they just make 20 different types of restaurant all in one not in one kitchen but like one place like a food court but in one it was in yeah. one restaurant that was cool i was not expecting that i was also not expecting for my bun to have sesame seeds on it yeah, that's kind of a bummer there's more on the top bun than the bottom so i'm gonna take a bite of both and then i'm just gonna eat the bottom Mmm, 100% vegan, baby. Ooh. Okay, here goes the top bun, because I don't want tummy problems. I love this. I love this. Honeybee burger, I approve. I'm a fan. No, this ranch is very dill. Dill, dilly. dilly. Dilly, Dilly. Dilly Willy. I don't like it as much. Mm, I like it. No, I don't like it. Give it that like sour. A little sour. I have one more stop to go to on our little food tour. We've been all over the place. I know. <laughs> the last thing I need to get is dessert and I have one place I've been wanting to go to. These look amazing. I don't even know which one I want first. I've been craving carrot cake, so I might have to dig into that one. Ethan is setting up, trying to set up <laughs> Euphoria on the TV. I don't know why we're having so many troubles with it. I know. This is our setup. <laughs> yeah, smart TV is not smart. <laughs> I need a knife so we can dig into this shit. Nice. All right. Yay. First time I got it to work all year. I'm leaving. We're <laughs> leaving. Oh. Whoa. Mmm. The frosting. <laughs> Finger looking good. Before I turn. That was a good episode. That was a really good episode. 
every time it ends, I feel like it was so short, like it went by so fast, but obviously so much is, so much happened. If you guys want to know my thoughts so far on Euphoria, it is so good. The way that they shoot this show, the cinematography mm -hmm. is so good and just adds so much to the story. So good. I'm glad that in this episode, we were able to see like Cal's past. Oh, like although they're shitty, like you, you, they make you like feel bad for them in, in ways, you know, and they make you feel for them. Another week until another episode, another week. I just want them all at once. Like, be like Netflix. Just let me binge. Wanna try Red Velvet? Oh, that's Red Velvet? I didn't know yeah. that. Mmm. Cheers. Red Velvet. We got the sprinkles. Mmm. Still filming? Cut. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Push a pig. Push a pig. <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs>